In the CMOS image sensor market, we are investing today in technology for three main directions. Next generation global shutter technology for the industrial sensor market, backside illumination and stack wafers for the high-end photography market, and special pixel technology for the automotive market. In the industrial sensor market, we are working with several leading customers on the development of a 2.5 micron state-of-the-art global shutter pixel on a 65 nanometer, 300 millimeter wafer size platform. As you may recall, we previously announced the availability of our 2.8 micron global shutter pixel on a 110 nanometer platform, the smallest global shutter pixel in the world. This is still the case, and our 2.5 micron pixel on the 65 nanometer, 300 millimeter platform will continue our leadership in this area, providing an even smaller pixel and being then, again, the lowest pixel size in the world, and thus allowing higher sensor resolution for any given sensor size. The first tape out in this new platform is expected to happen by the end of this year. One of the most important parameters or figures of merit of global shutter pixels is the shutter efficiency. Our shutter efficiency gets to 100 dB, which is several orders of magnitude higher than the competing 3 micron pixel in the market. This combined with our stitching technology allows us to take a large portion of the high-end industrial market as well as even use this technology for high-end photography, especially for video applications. We believe that our current generation of global shutter technology on both 180 nanometer and 110 nanometer will continually grow but will gradually be augmented and eventually replaced by this next generation 300 millimeter technology, enabling us to maintain our market edge for many years to come. In the digital SLR market, we have engaged with one of the leaders in the world in the development of their next generation sensors. And in parallel, are on track with our 300 millimeter backside illumination stack wafer technology development, with outstanding pixel performance. Our first silicon runs of full stack wafer flow, where the circuits are on the bottom, the CMOS wafer, and the pixels are on the top, CIS wafer, show improvements of more than 2x in quantum efficiency, with only slight increase of dark current in the 2.4 micron pixels. We expect to bring the dark current to the same outstanding level we already show in front side illumination, about 10 electrons per second at 60 degrees Celsius in the next silicon runs. This technology will be ready for customer tape outs in Q1 next year, so customer designs are going to start very soon on this platform. Lastly, in the automotive area, we have developed both SPAD, single photon avalanche diode state-of-the-art technology, as well as ultra-fast global shutter pixels for automotive solid-state LiDAR based on time-of-flight principles. Our SPAD show very, large dark, very low dark signals at the same level as discrete SPAD devices, but with the advantage of full integration with CMOS circuits, allowing low cost, low power consumption, and system on chip capabilities. We have engaged with several companies, among them one of the most promising in this area in the development of automotive LiDAR and expect to be a major player in this market in the future. An autonomous vehicle will require multiple sensors, or if you will, sensor fusion, combining the capabilities of radar, LIDAR, and standard, albeit advanced, CMOS image sensors to accurately identify and enable real-time classification of all images within the field of view of interest. Our expertise in these three areas puts us in a strong position to take advantage of this anticipated high-growth market. With regard to our TOPS business unit, the discrete power semiconductor industry 